Hey everybody, I'm back to another update of what's happening here in Southern Utah. And today I'm back out here in Ivins in Santa Clara where we've got a lot going on. Today we get to talk about everything happening here at Black De Desert Resort, along with a couple of different uh, developments around here uh, with some things that have recently opened or in the works. Uh, really look forward to showing you everything that's going on. So let's get started. So first up, we'll start with an update right here at Black Desert Resort, which has been in the news pretty much everywhere at this point. If you haven't been out here, it's definitely a sight to see. Construction is progressing. As you can see, there are things happening all over this place as they march toward that October 10th deadline uh, that when the PGA Tour comes here. So before that, we're gonna have Resort fit Center finished, Golf Village will be finished. They'll even have some units in, uh, in Family Village uh, finished as well. On top of that, five restaurants, the spa, the convention center, uh, a lot going on here and I know you might think that it might be crazy that this will all be finished but I know they're going to make it happen. So some detail regarding the restaurants. These are not chains. They don't exist yet. They are going to be specific to Black Desert. They're going to be high end and it's going to be something that Southern Utah really uh, doesn't have too much of already. So the first one is Basalt Steakhouse, a high end steakhouse. It'll be right off the lake uh, next to the 19th hole inside of Resort Center. Then also in Resort Center on the first floor, we've got Latitude 37, which is an American restaurant uh, that'll be right here in the resort as well. Then from there, we've got three other restaurants that are centered around the golf course. The first one being Club 73, uh, which is named after this being the 73rd golf course that Tom Weiskopf built before passing away. Uh, this one is going to be right off the yard, which is the 36 hole putting course uh, right here by the uh, as part of the golf course. Then from there, we'll go into the pro shop, which is gonna be a 25,000 square foot pro shop. And this will have a 14,000 square foot sports bar called the 20th hole sports bar. Uh, then the third and final one is the Oasis, uh, which is gonna be out near the 15th hole um, in the middle of all the action. And that is going to be the third one that'll be opened by the PGA Tour. Uh, there'll be 15 restaurants in total uh, as this thing gets built out. These five will be done this year. And I'm really excited to try all of them. Along with all that, like I said, they'll have the spa open this fall. The convention center will also be open, which will be a huge addition here as we need more event space. It'll be 25,000 square feet, state of the art. Um, along with that, they're gonna break ground here in a few months on 20 pickleball courts that'll feature a championship court with grandstands. I hopefully envision a, a pro tournament here one day, which would be really, really cool. Um, and then along with that, that is actually gonna be near the Utah Tech golf facility, which I'll mention next. Um, like I've mentioned before, they have an outdoor practice facility that they've finished. Um, they are working on plans for an indoor facility so the golf uh, team can be out here both indoor and outdoor, which will be awesome. Um, and they have a really good partnership with Utah Tech. Uh, the university actually just started a hospital or a hospitality curriculum uh, for students that will that want to go into resort management uh, that I think is going to be really awesome as well. So a lot of good stuff happening out here as we march toward that October 10th uh, deadline for the PGA event that comes here this fall, followed by the LPGA next May. Uh, tickets will be going on sale the next couple weeks at blackdesertevents.com. Uh, so if you're interested in coming to the PGA Tour, uh, make sure to stay tuned for that. Now from here, we'll head just a bit north on Snow Canyon Parkway up to Canyon Crossing. Uh, we've got the latest tenant in here just about to open. It's the second orange pill here in town, which is I know is already super popular. They're set to open sometime in the next two or three weeks. Uh, so make sure to stay tuned for this one. Then heading south to the Santa Clara side of the border, we've got Snow Canyon Retirement Community that is uh, making good progress on their construction. This is a senior living community that'll have a bunch of different amenities and different types of residences for uh, the senior community to live here. Uh, this one is making good progress and is set to be done sometime this fall. Uh, then just up Pioneer Parkway from there, uh, right around the Harmons, we've got a couple new businesses open. Uh, these are all four of them are going to be in the newest building uh, where Alfredo's Mexican food just opened up. So we've got Alfredo's that just opened um, along with the Posh Dry Bar that is now open as well. And then we've got Jersey Mike's that's set to open on February 21st that I know is gonna be a hit out here. Um, and then the last one is the uh, Thrive Drip Spa, which I actually mentioned in my video a few, a few videos ago on River Road. Uh, they're opening their second location over there. This is their first one here, um, and they are now open as well. Uh, so if you haven't been over this way, make sure to come check out all these out. 
And that's a wrap guys. As you can see, a lot of good stuff happening out here on Pioneer Parkway and Snow Canyon Parkway right around Black Desert Resort. I uh, really look forward to seeing this thing to continue to move on. For more info on what's happening here in Southern Utah, you can call me or text me 435-668-7293 or find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, or Instagram. Thanks guys.